this in the shop? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. Okay. You got it. Okay. It's mandatory. No, that's fine. That's all good. Whatever you want to start. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, obviously, just to uh, recap from uh, Wednesday's game, <clears throat> we just, uh, you know, looking back on the tape, man, we had some great, great looks, um, great opportunities, and uh, unfortunately, just, you know, they, the shots didn't go in. Uh, you know, it's a make and miss game when it comes down to it. And we had some just outstanding shots, not only from wide open threes, but also we had a lot of layups, just point blank shots we, we missed. But, you know, that happens. Um, it's happened to us obviously a few times this year, but uh, um, hopefully Saturday, uh, tomorrow, um, you know, the tide turns and, and those open shots can, can go in for us. Uh, regarding NC State, uh, really good basketball team. Uh, a lot of really good players. Coach Keats does an outstanding job. Uh, really, really good coach. They're well coached, got great players. And, um, you know, we'll have to play really well. Uh, last time we played them, you know, had, you know, we did a nice job of taking care of the ball considering the amount of turnovers they forced. We only had 10 turnovers that game. Um, we've, you know, we, we, we did a nice job in points in the paint and on in the offensive glass in that game. We were just two for 21 and from the free throw line, uh, three point line, and eight for 19 from the free throw line. Kind of very similar to the Louisville game in a sense. So um, you know, hopefully that we just uh, <clears throat> you know we we were able to you know put the ball in the basket. But we'll compete, we'll play hard, and we'll know we'll have to play really well if we want to have a chance to win. When you look at NC State, they're They've won, I think, six out of their last seven, and their their guards have really been playing well. And also, you, you have Burns that he's developed that spin move that a lot of people fall for every time. Is uh, is that something you're going to concentrate on? Maybe shutting him down first. Well, look, they've got a lot of good players. Burns is really good, and obviously, um, you know, they got Smith and Joiner and Morsel. I mean, those guys. I mean, they got a lot of good players. Gant. Um, Ross and Thomas, they just, they, they're, they're good. They're, they're a really good basketball team. And so uh, they got multiple guys that can score. Um, so we'll defensively, we'll have to do a really good job and get stops. We'll have to really do a great job in getting stops. And, you know, we did a nice job against them last time. We forced them, I think it was 15 turnovers. And they don't turn the ball over a lot. So I think it was the highest they, or second highest they had all year long. But we'll have to, um, uh, you know, we'll have to do a great job and not just one guy on multiple guys because they've got multiple guys that, that can really play. Um, from three, you guys had the, a really good half in the first half against Louisville and obviously it didn't in the second. Um, did you see anything at all differently, technically speaking, or, or just the way they were taking their shots? That just We just, can we just missed them. Uh, about it, it was just it's a make and miss game. We just missed those, you know. We made them in the first half, and we missed a lot of short shots in the first half. But um, we just we we missed a lot. They're same shots wide open, even maybe more wide open in the second half. We just missed them. There's just you know it's uh, you know just you know our, um, had really good looks. Just unfortunately, the ball didn't go in the hole, hole in the second half. So, Coach, when you, you know, you guys this season has some tough losses, and obviously the season from start to fin from start to this point hasn't gone uh, the way you'd hoped or the way you thought it would go. So, I guess my first question is, you know, obviously that comes along with a lot of outside noise and everything, and people talking about the program and where they're at. And so, how do you keep your team focused and keep yourself focused on day to day and at the task at hand? Yeah, no, look, I mean, <clears throat> I've said it before. Look, there's obviously we've had a, we haven't had the season to this point that I've wanted, that the, uh, that the young men have wanted, our staff has wanted, my bosses have wanted, the Yellow Jacket Nation has wanted. You know, we just, you know, uh, we, we've, we, I had felt that, we, you know, we were going to be much better than where we are today. Um, unfortunately, we've you know we've lost some 
It's just, you know, we, we, we offensively, we haven't been as good as I maybe th- had assumed or thought we'd be based on how we were in the summer and in the fall and some early season things that on our shooting. And so uh, just, you know, not scoring at the level that I thought we could maybe score at, based, especially more on, on shooting, shooting the three. That being said, yes, there's no denying there's a, there's chatter or noise and things like that. But I would always say that, look, my job is to coach, to, you know, you got to coach your team. And you got to do your best it can to to ignore the noise. And um, and for our young men, I mean, look, they're, you're in. This is 2023. You can find any noise you want because of social media and anything like that at any point. I mean, that's just that's just the that's just the time and era that we're in. Um, uh, but you know, I I I don't think you need to hide from it. You address it with the guys about, hey, you got to, just like when things are going well and, and people are telling you how good you are, it, that can be just as dangerous as absorbing the negativity too. I mean, either way. So you got to stay measured. You got to stay in a, in a mindset that, you know, you're, you're just trying to win the very next game, you know, and, 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 and as you know, I coach every possession. I want to win every possession and um, and you just you got to remain upbeat. You got to have, have great energy and stay positive. And yes, losing stinks and is no fun for anybody. Uh, but you got to really just you know grind it out and keep working and 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 just you know giving the giving your team and the the best effort to to put them in positions to give you a chance to have success and from there you just got to kind of let the chips fall you know cuz like i said sometimes you're going to get great looks and it becomes down to a just you know made shot here or missed shot there and um and i and i and i love our group i mean we just got to we just got to break through the barrier once we do who knows what can happen and i and i and I believe we will. When that happens, I don't know, and it'll be no greater time than on than than tomorrow against North Carolina State. When you when you look at rebounding, that first half was pretty tough against Louisville, and not having your your energy guy Devon uh, out there on the court. When when he's not in there, is Jalen the guy you you really count on to be that guy to to really? You know, mix it up underneath. Well, you know, it was int- the, the second half. We were really good on the offensive. We were much better on the offensive glass the second half. But uh, yeah, not no, not having Davon hurt. There's no doubt about that. But you know, he had an ankle injury, so you know, whether it's him or not having and not having Lance in these games has hurt us. You know, we don't have a lot of margin for error as it is, and so you're you know you're losing you know good players due to injuries. But that's unfortunately that's just part of the part of the game. Was it more boxing out or standing flat-footed? And what did you see? No, I thought there was a couple times where in the first half, uh, I didn't think our guards did a job to rebound. I thought a couple of times guys went by guys, and uh, we got caught ball watching. And that's uh, just an absolute no-no. Um, Davon and Lance, do you know their status is for Saturday? Um, uh I'm expecting them to to, pl- to to be available to play unless something today in practice, you know, that there's any um, – uh, what's the word? Is it – what's the word? Moose residue from – I don't know. Is that the right word? Or, you know, whether it's lingering. Yeah, if there's anything li- lingering from um, – whether it's from Davon's ankle or, or Lance's hamstring. If, as long as there's nothing lingering after today's practice for tomorrow, then I would expect them to be available to play. Regarding the three-point shooting again, I, I, the fact that you were able to play so well in the first half maybe doesn't answer this a little bit. But do you see them like not going up confidently or anything like that? No, broadly. No, and I, I know you're you're probably trying to do a story on it and trying to find something. I I I, I really would like to tell you that it that I <laughs> that I saw something on film like some mechanical thing that or their feet something. But I'm, I can I'm in that second half. Out of the eleven, nine of them were like your feet. Were, they were. I mean, it was. It was. It was no different than just sh- uh, shooting. shooting pra- I mean, just literally, just one on zero shooting practice. In fact, the Louisville guy. Didn't, they, a couple times they were so open, there was no one even coming to contest it. They were so far away. So, yeah, I, I, I just, um, just they missed it, and um, you know. Um, and, and, and man, we do it. We do we do this minute thirty shooting drill 
I used to call it two minute shooting, but it's it, it, we I've now moved it down to a minute thirty. We've done that for the last couple months, where you have to make five threes in um, from each spot, from corner, wing, top, wing, corner, and, uh, and you got to do so. You got to you know, do it in a minute thirty, sort of like you know the NBA three point contest. So guys are passing, boom, boom, and you just quick. It's you know. And I mean, man, our guys. I mean, in a minute thirty to get around like that. I mean, you know, a lot of times our guys are like, like Debo the day before on Monday, on Tuesday, in our practice. Because we usually do a bunch of rounds of those. You know, at the end of always at the end of practice, we do a lot of rounds of shooting of those. Man, because they get a lot of shots in. Debo's making it about a minute five, a minute, you know, and Miles is making it sometimes in minute three, minute six, and. Um, you know, Kyle makes it in a minute 10, and I mean, I could just go on down the road. I mean, Jalen is making them all the time. So, of course, you know, and then we're, when that's done, then we're, we, can, we stay after and do more, you know, we do just, you know, other shooting. So we're, I, I assure you, when you watch us in practice, I mean, even in the, in the shooting drills at game speed, I mean, we're putting it in. It's just, I just think it's just something at the game. We're just, ball's just not going in the hoop during the game. On that same subject, when, Somebody like Debo or Miles gets in that three-point shooting slump. Do you let them work it out themselves, or do you have somebody work with them? Or how, how well, do you go no, about Well, no, we got to keep. We got that's our job as to coach them. I, I mean, um, we're you know, you're you're you're, you're trying to also give them confidence. I mean, you know, sometimes it could be a, just a they just got to see it go through the hoop a few times. I, I, the biggest thing is we just did you know you, it's it's a uh, it's just uh, you know it's I really think it's a confidence thing where you just you get it through you get it, you make a couple and all of a sudden you know it just it kind of breaks it, it, not only trying to break through the barrier winning just those shooting part breaking through that barrier too I would say it's a both those things on that same subject. Fred seems like he has the smoothest stroke beyond the arc. Has he has he been yeah, doing he, enough he, defensively to get on he, the court? I thought he played well on 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 uh, Wednesday, and and I thought um, I thought he was I thought he was good, and I thought he had three great open looks from the corner. Made one of them. One of them went in and out, and one missed long. But I thought Fred's was fine. Can one more? Good. Good. Thanks, coach. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Yep.